What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial Patreon request today from Parzival Edward Cullen. Twilight. I haven't drawn a Twilight character. So, landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pause, or go too fast. Portrait of him. So, what's the actor's name again? He's like big time now. Edward Cullen, played by Robert Pattinson. That's him. Okay. So he's got those golden eyes. Portrait. So, halfway line the eyes will be about right that'll be level and the head will be like most of the page right and then maybe some shoulders portrait let's go you gotta just go for it you gotta go for these things sometimes just believe oh draw a marker need a different marker that's a good start right and then kind of flat on the top And then there's eyelashes coming down here. So I've done these rubbish, so you know, like eyelashes a bit as well here, but like sort of underneath his eyelid. Okay, very sort of square eyes, and then it comes out from this tear duct sort of corner and then down you know, he's got these thin like smoldering eyes and this tear ducts kind of in there and then his iris half circle touches sort of down here and then back up pupil in Sort of touching the top of the line. Okay. Do do do. Right, so bottom eyelashes. He's got quite long bottom eyelashes as well. I wonder if they're real. They're very long. So so they're like just dots and dashes first. Up to the corner there. And then they'll have some actual eyelashes coming down. sort of bag underneath his eye like there like not much though heavily makeup so like no wrinkles to speak of or anything so then he's got an eyelid line that kind of comes out from the top of his eye here and down and then one that goes out behind these eyelashes as well down here Okay. And then like a really big eyebrow, like, like <laughs> insane big eyebrow, right? So so it's like got lots of hairiness going on here. And sort of down the corner there, and it comes right across really close to his eye here. Okay. Intense, All right? And then we have like a kind of a nose line sort of here, and he's got these frown lines down there. Right, we'll go over and do the other eye. So you measure this eye 
that fits in between both of his eyes. So his other eye kind of starts just here, right? So if you measure this distance, it's about an eye width, right? So this fits in here, right? And then the next eye starts. This eye looks a bit skinnier than that one. I don't know how that's possible, but <laughs> it does look skinnier. So we go diagonal again. Maybe I'm gonna keep them about the same because I don't know how I could go more skinny than that. We get some eyelashes along the end here now. All right. Right, and then we got this spike tear duct there, quite pronounced, and then curves around. Like that, and the tear duct will be like in there. And then iris again, a sort of a half circle. Or semicircle curving around here. And then his iris and pupil. So that's the iris, this is the pupil. Just here touching the top eyelid. Just there. Right, and then, so you've got that eyelid line that comes across here as well. Comes out from underneath the eyebrow and down. And then dots and dashes for the bottom eyelash line, sort of. Some eyelashes coming off. Some of them quite long. Just a light line underneath his eye. And then the, those huge eyebrows again. So coming right across here now. quite big. Right. And then maybe another sort of maybe not a frowning sort of line there. So bridge of his nose. I'll see what we draw. So we'll go we'll go with kind of like the tip of his nose first, right? And it's kind of this you have the nostrils right sort of here. Okay, and then this is, it's kind of like curves around here and it's got a, a bit of a bumping sort of tip of his nose. There, and then the skin of the nostril. is around the side. And the same on this side pretty much. Again, he's got like a lot of makeup on, so there's not a lot of definition and stuff on these parts of his face. Right, so you might have like the bridge of his nose sort of coming down here, but there is not much drawn in. So you don't really want to do too much more than that now. OK. 
Okay, I think I'll leave it like that. We might come back and see how we go. So he's got like real pursed sort of lips and a strong jaw. And like shadowed in cheekbones and stuff. So start, mouth sort of starts inside the eye here. So let's give this a go. So come relatively flat. So we've got like a pointy part in the middle. Got like a bird mouth down in the middle here. And up the other side. And your mouth sort of generally stops on the inside and the, no the nostril is like lined up with the tear duct. Mouth would be lined up with sort of the start here iris. See there? And then his top lip. So he's got like real defined sort of lips, probably a bit of lipstick. So he's got like a line just here on his cheek. So the light going down this way. I don't know, maybe just a line for his chin here. This pupil should be a bit bigger. Okay. Do, do. Okay, so real square chin now. So like real strong sort of features of his face, right? So like a very strong chin there. Okay, and then his jawbone. So like, well, before I did the jaw. So a little discussion. So here to here, eyes to the nose is about the same as nose to the chin, right? So tip of the nose, here to here, and here to here about the same, roughly. Okay, and then nose to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin, this bottom lip line here. This and this are about the same, okay? So then, attempt the, the jaw. So again, very sort of straight and kind of angled jaw. And about mouth level is where it curves this way, see? So you wanna go straight as you can. And then when you're about in line with the mouth, it curves. Curves around up here. And then we meet cheekbones. Here. All right. Just gives him a kind of a thinner sort of face look. It's quite strange. I think they photoshopped his neck. That's interesting. I never even 
I never even spotted that for you, it's like a shadow. No, they photoshopped his neck. Strange. Okay. Um, so, let's keep going. He's got like real long sideburns, right? So like side of his face comes up here and then you've got like hair lines coming in onto his head. Quite narrow here. So you've got like his hairline that comes in just kind of in line with the eyebrows there. And his hair is kind of comes down to a point. And generally your forehead is about the same size as your nose. Okay, just if you're wondering. sort of angled face and stuff. We should have like a little sort of line coming across his forehead here a bit. Okay, and then we have like real big sideburns. Coming off here. Kind of cuts off his ear a little bit on this side, not on this side, different. So his ear kind of sticks out more on this side for some reason. So you got like an ear here, goes behind the sideburn. Some ear lines and stuff inside. And then a bigger ear over here. Sticks out a little bit more. Right, so the rest of his hair. So real big hair. And all sort of slicked back and stuff. So so say let's see, so we've got like a fringe, okay? So it goes we go like a fringe kind of sticking up here first. Right, so real big. It's kind of like slicked back this way, like curving in on itself. So all these sort of hooks and all these texture lines kind of join from the front of the forehead. Like some ones that come out this way, and back that way, right? So it looks like he's got like a crew cut at the minute, but he's got more hair back here. He's all hair, this guy. And there's like some straight hair here, and then another 
level of hair going that way, which is good. Right, and then there's like there's a part in his hair there. So that the hair seems to go or it wants to go that way. And then it all kind of flicks up at the back here. And then this stuff goes this way. It's like it's real messy. Like it's not. It's kind of bumpy then on the back here. big hair now and then it just like spikes around this way So the hair kind of really gives him his look, sort of. Looks way more like him now, which is interesting. I never saw hair change. I wasn't sure about the face, but then when I did the hair, it was like, oh yeah, that's Cullen. That's Edward Cullen. And you're just adding like textures and stuff to all this. Okay, so now we gotta deal with this neck because it's like wrong in the picture I'm drawing from, which is interesting. So his neck kind of, he's not like the muscliest guy. So it's a skinny enough neck. And we'll go, color of his shirt there. That way. And then you could have like some neck muscles. And Adam's apple there. And then we have a shirt color and a suit color, kind of like the one thing. Shirt and suit. Shoulders come off this way. And generally a male shoulder is about the same width as his head his face should I say not the ears the face there because it's a suit it's a little bit to, say to this line generally you're about three heads for a male shoulder width okay you want to do the same thing right roughly and then he's got like a suit jacket thing on it's funny this is like this is a heavily photoshopped image I never realized this because his suit is like gone on this side. It's like all airbrushed away. Strange. <laughs> Why would they do that? Okay. Like the lapel is gone on that side, but it's still there on this side. Interesting. Right. Edward Cullen, hope it's helpful, Parzival. The hair really is the thing that makes him look like Edward Cullen, I think. And the eyebrows. When you have those eyebrows and that hair, it can only be one guy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.